break. All the plans I have for today. We're just going and just getting through one mile at a time and seeing what happens. At least in here, we've got some shelter from the wind and the rain's not driving in my face. It's been pretty wild. I've come past uh, like an old power station or something and you run around the perimeter of that on a concrete bath just fully exposed. Wild. I did the arc of attrition in January on the south west coast bath in Cornwall and that's always sold as like one of the most tough winter races on the miners. Never at any point in that I went through, it's like I've already done the time, I went through Friday night, all day Friday, Saturday and finished Saturday evening. Never at any point for those wet and cold as this. I tried to find a little bit of trousers in the van, I saw Katie before, but couldn't find them. I was getting cold stood there, so she's going to find them at the next base station. I've never contemplated putting more three trousers on in any race before, 1500 miles, anything. Whatever the weather, it's just... This is July in Wales. We love Britain. There's two options. So you either go all the way up there, and then out. Oh, that's a different one, come kidding. So I need to go that way, not there, up that step. Oh, it's not too bad then. There's two paths, that's what I was confused with. So if the Wales Coast Path goes there, then what do we do? Every day is good. Periods of suffering. I think that's a word that's used too much in the room, really, but at the end, there's periods of difficulty and suffering. But also, every day is a pure relation and just thankfulness for being able to do this.
last night we were completely opposite tonight. No two days are ever the same in this sport. Sick to have broken for absolutely shattered. Closing in on 52 miles though. Maybe he's uh, maybe on the first finish line. Oh, mate, I don't know. 25 miles? Tomorrow, tomorrow time, I guess. I'll stop looking at it. You, know, you get given a set of figures and so far they've all proved to fluctuate, so I reckon it's about 25 miles when I get up in the morning to the finish line. But we'll see, give or take. That should work out at about 878 or 880 miles, I think. But I don't know, I've got a very tired brain. As well as everything else is tired. I may have worked some of that out wrong. It's been a tough day today. The weather hasn't helped. But that's what it's all about, isn't it? Life putting challenges in your way, you find a way to overcome it. Why it always compare what you run into life itself. It's all one big game. Finding a way past obstacles, problem solving, adapting as you go. Um, I'm at my friend's Stu's tonight. And he's left me some Epsom salts because he knows I love salts in the bath. What a friend that is. Um, and they do, I, I do, I, I just, uh, can't get my words out, I'm so knackered. I do think they help with recovery, so I've got some extra salts in my bath, I'm going to get nice and clean, soak my muscles, have some food, sleep in a proper bed, clip in the back of the van for about five nights. And then go and get this finished tomorrow. Phase one. Oh, I see.